I have just shown you how to create a new file using a touch command or echo command. And now let's install two editors, VIM and Nano, and afterwards I'll show you them in practice. Alright, let's use apt get update command first in order to update information about packages. Press enter. And now let's use apt get install and let's install VIM and Nano. You could simply use space between two different packages you want to install. Enter. Press yes here. Continue. Alright, packages were installed. Let's verify that VIM. And yes, now I see that the VIM editor is available for use. And in order to exit from this screen, you need to type colon and Q and afterwards press enter. And now let's verify whether Nano is installed. Let's type Nano. And Nano is available as well. And in order to exit from Nano, press key combination Ctrl X. Alright, now let's start by using VIM editor. And for that, uh, let's open up one of the files that we have created before. And there are two files, file1.txt and file2.txt. Let's open up file1.txt using VIM editor. VIM file1.txt. And now I see that this file is empty at the moment and we are able to edit it. In order to start editing, you need to press key combination Shift I, like so. And now you see this insert text. And now I am able to type something. For example, hello, hi, add the line break, add some other text, hey, there, and so on. In order to save changes, you need to exit first from insert mode, and for that press escape, and afterwards type colon wq, and you'll see those symbols here in left bottom corner. And if you say now that uh, this editor is not the most convenient editor in the world, I'll fully agree with you. That's why I don't use VIM editor at all. But let me just finish with this stuff and using colon WQ, you are able to write contents to the file and quit from VIM editor. Write and quit. Press enter. And now if I read contents of file1.txt, I should see changes there, file1.txt. And here are those lines. That's how you could use VIM editor. Great, let's uh, now try nano editor. Let me clear terminal and type nano file2.txt and let's edit second file that we have already created before. Nano and you see contents of this file. You could immediately edit file without any key combinations. Like so. And if you want to save changes, you need to press key combination Ctrl X, save modified buffer, yes, and next press enter file name to write. And we are done. Let's read file2.txt and we see that this file was changed. Wonderful. Let me now create new file using nano editor. For that simply type nano and name of the new file you want to create. Let's create file3.txt. And I see that new file was created and I am able immediately edit it. Let me go to Google Chrome and here search for some random text and type lorem ipsum like so and click on this link lorem ipsum generator. Let's generate some random text, scroll a bit down and here you could choose the quantity of paragraphs you want to generate. Let's click generate and now I could simply copy this dummy text. Let me copy it. Go to nano editor and paste it, like so. And now I see that uh, I am actually able to modify this text uh, in the way I want. Uh, I could uh, modify some words, let's for example delete this word, and if you want you could delete specific line, for that you could use key combination Ctrl K, cut text, like so, and this line was removed. Alright, that's how you could modify file inside of the nano editor. Also, you could get help about commands available here in nano editor and for that press key combination Ctrl G like so. And scroll down in order to see all possible options and for example here you see that using Ctrl W you are able to search forward for a string or regular expression. Alright, that's the entire list of commands you are able to use inside of the nano editor. Let's close it Ctrl X 
and let's try for example to find some text using a key combination ctrl w and here let's search for this word sapien let's start typing sapien and let's press enter and i see that sapien actually appears first here on this line that's how search works also let's try to replace some text and let's replace this word sapien with some other word let me copy this word press key combination ctrl backslash search for sapien press enter and replace with hello like so and i see here in the bottom that i'm able to replace per instance or i'm able to replace all occurrences if you want to replace all just press a and nano has replaced three occurrences and here i see hello and here hello as well great that's how you are able pretty fast and easy modify a text using nano editor if you want to write file press key combination ctrl o file name to write file3.txt press enter and now i'm able to exit from editing ctrl x that's all let's read contents of file3.txt and i see that this file is present and it contains some dummy generated text all right that's nano editor and that's vim editor i highly recommend you personally to use nano editor of course in order to edit uh, large amounts of different text files it is preferably to use uh, some graphical user interface applications like visual studio code atom editor and so on but if you have linux server that doesn't have any desktop and you have access only via terminal to the shell then of course you should use and you could use only text editors like nano or vim all right that's all for this lecture and that's all about editing of text it is very simple and easy using text editors let's move on and next let me explain you how you could copy and move files in linux i'll see you next bye bye